Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lord Exus and I want to welcome you all back to Demon's Souls. So in the last video for Demon's Souls we destroyed the Tower Knight and therefore today we will be moving on to the Stonefang Tunnels and Stonefang Mines area. So that being said and without further ado, let's do this thing. Okay and as you can see recently I've also been playing as my other character because this is the total screen you get with a character that you have already completed the game with. Okay, we're just going to go to load game and I'm going to load in, guys. Okay, and here we are in the Nexus. And this is more or less more or less where I left you guys a few small differences number one I was standing at that arch stone I did go and quickly gain that final level to get to level 30 because we were very very close with 5,700 souls at the time something like that uh, so I went and grabbed that and I put it straight into magic power so I thought I'd let you know that also the other thing I have to show you is when I came back from that arch stone where the blue spirit was over here, he is now gone. And I'm also quite gutted as well because I really wish I'd have done that in the video because that has actually cost me a renowned warrior's soul. I think it's called a, a storied or a renowned warrior's soul because that was here uh, when I came back out of the archstone. And I was like, oh, I'll leave that there and I'll explain this to the guys and gals when I come back in. Ah, angelic singing. Um, yeah, I'll explain that to these guys when we uh, when we come back in. And uh, yeah, the soul's not here at all now, and neither is the storied warrior. I'm not sure if that's his actual name or that's his soul's name. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Anyway, today we are going to go immediately into the old uh, Stonefang tunnels. So I'm, I'm ready to do that right now, actually, as it goes. So uh, let's go up here. Let's progress. Okay, so Stonefang Tunnel, Archstone of the Digger King, and this is the Smithing Grounds. A city of miners who maintained the giant tunnel long ago, the efforts of the hard-headed burrowers allowed Boletarian soldiers to carry out their work, but now, disposed of their souls, they have no thoughts of their own and work in silence tirelessly, without purpose. So, sounds pretty bleak. Let's get in. Okay, and here we are, guys, at the smithing grounds. Fantastic. Right in front of not only this archstone, but something that would, in my mind, be it called an actual archstone, this uh, this tablet of sorts. Okay, now let's just uh, make our way up. And here we are. Here we are. And if you guys can see what I can see, we're going to get us some crystal lizard. There we go. You're not going anywhere, buddy. I don't care how much magic I have to waste. There we go. Not too much. Okay, we got ourselves eight hardstone shards. Now, look at this view. Look at this. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous how far you can see. Again, could be just a 2D, 2D render over there, but uh, it still looks pretty cool. And just the, the landscape in general down there. Lots of... Lots of nice scenery going on. I like it. I like it a lot. Lots of uh, lots of view. Okay. Go over here, and there was an awful accident here when the bridge gave way. An unknown hero. So, yep, there is nothing down there for us to go get. As far as I know, as far as I remember. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so first things first, let's talk to this very, very uh, beraggled looking gentleman here. <laughs> Hello there. Souls, souls, I trade fine goods for souls. Fine goods, you say? Fil filthy, his name's just Filthy Man. Let's have a look. You have absolutely nothing I want, sir, so... Uh, even though that pickaxe is a piercing weapon, 
Um, and we should have a piercing weapon here. We already have the mail breaker. And it is just a pickaxe, and we'll probably pick one up on our way. Let's talk to him. Our little town. Oh, it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone and don't bother with old folk like me. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> I always knew there was a god. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me. Okay then. Uh, yeah, you're not creepy at all, are you? Uh, we're just going to leave. You want to play? You've got to be. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, but I already paid for basically all of the items you have um, from someone cheaper and that doesn't creep me out. Okay, so I'm coming in here because, as you guys can see, this is a lift. Uh, a very ancient, archaic lift. We need it so we can go down there into the depths because there is the other blacksmith, Ed, down there and we're going to want him. So we can't activate it from here. As you can see, it moves up and down up there. So we're going to activate that. I just thought I'd show you that straight off the bat. And these guys are chucking some fucking huge boulders down. So we've got to time this because I don't want to get splattered by one of them. And run. Run, 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 run. Yep, none of that. So that wasn't too bad. We're going to go up and deal with them in a minute. Okay, so... This is the entrance way. Right, so the guys in here... Mm, a large amount of them will ignore you. However... I don't really know what their triggers are. I know the guys that are actually mining, like, uh, not you, Jesus, you, your trigger is just going near them. So we're going to deal with this guy now. In fact, we're going to kill them all. There we go. You see, they all stood up. There we have it. See, look, there's even one through there that's already up and active. So, I'm not sure whether the trigger is killing the normal guys that are just minding their own business, or whether there's uh, there's something else to it. Um, but you want to be safe. I want to be safe. So, we're just, we're just going to slaughter their entire race, whether, whether they want to hurt us or not. I think that sounds like a good idea, right? So, you pull this, and this brings up a lift here. I'm going to go up first, because when we go up, we've got a deal with... Uh, a fat minister, as I call them, or fat official, or whatever the hell they're called. Nope. 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 Cool. There we go. Beautiful. Got to deal with him because he's an asshole. Um, and he stands in our way, and yeah, that his hits will hurt. So that's the first. Uh, I think that's the first fat minister we've actually had to deal with in the game. There was one that. Uh, what does he have? Full moon grass. There was one that obviously blocked us off and ordered the archers to shoot us while we were fighting the tower knight, but we didn't actually get to deal with him. We're gonna deal with that one a bit later. Okay, and we picked up the Crushing Battle Axe, plus one. So it's a plus one weapon, that's uh, that's pretty good. Anyway, we can actually go back down and go out there now and grab that item safely. We could have grabbed it before, you can actually get it anyway. But we want to be safe about it. Okay. I'll just step on this boy. Also, we're going to go over down there because there is an item, I think. If I remember. If I remember correctly. Wow, they really made it look like this place has been mined into oblivion. I like it. There's the item. A stone of ephemeral eyes. Always handy. Always, always. Never not handy. And we just get back up here. I think that was about it down there. I think if your world tendency changes too far to black, you can find... A what they call, I think it's a primeval demon down here, a more or less defenseless, uh, more or less defenseless demon that uh, 
that will reset or help reset part of your world tendency. So that's handy. Okay. There's a lot of dead emaciated horses in this game, which is uh, quite disturbing. I never mentioned that in my Lord's Path uh, Let's Play, and I probably should have because I ended up walking over several of them. Um, but it's pretty, uh, pretty intense. Pretty intense. No one wants to see those poor horses like that. Okay, moving on. So this next section is... Uh, can be tricky, can be tricky because we've got some doggos coming up. This is one of the bigger starting areas of the game, I guess. I don't know, the gates of Boletaria were pretty big. There we go. These guys are up and ready to rock and roll. And as you can see over there in the background, I'm sure you can see with your uh, elf eyes, guys, there's a fat minister waiting beyond those pots. Okay, also, the guys up and around here, um, other lizard people, lizard-eyed people as they were called, uh, the burrowers, basically. They actually, uh, see, there's a fat minister up there as well. He's just checking me out, the fat motherfucker. Um... Yeah, they're kind of wandering around and waiting for me to mess up. Um, we'll come over here so he can break these. Or he can start something. Because we've got doggos. So that even scared me just a little bit. That was a, a bit of a pant shitting moment. Uh, e even then, even though knowing it was coming. Okay. So, see, these guys are still trying to trundle down here, and uh, they still have beef. No, just deal with them before they get down. A few more might end up slipping down throughout throughout the gameplay, but we've got to deal with this motherfucker first. Just step out of his way. A couple of times. Eat it, you fat fuck. Okay, fantastic. Believe me, they hurt you if they hit you, especially if you're playing a magic class like myself. Right, let's have a look around, make sure no one's dropped behind me or anything sinister like that, because you always got to be on your guard in this place. Always, always. Especially if you come around here, because in there is this guy. I don't know if I can hit him from here. I can. Well, at least at one time. Are you joking? Hey, fella. Come at me, please. There you go. Through the archway. Through the doorway. Don't want to waste all my magic there. Okay, so we're going to pick up the full moon grass off the fat official or fat minister, whatever they're called. Again, I forget. And some clear stone shard and such. Okay, we are, we're good. We're good. We can go up here now. We've got to be careful as we go up here because we're going to have a nasty surprise going around this corner. And if these guys hit you with their pickaxe, they may be uh, they may be pretty weak, pretty low level, but uh, that will hurt. That will hurt a lot. There's another one right here. Hello, fella. Yep, you can fuck go fuck yourself. And I'm out. I'm just gonna kite him around the corner here. Come on, come on. I oh, really. Then eat it up close. Should have just come around the corner. We could have done that nicely. And you can still hear enemies chopping away and mining and such. That's just uh, that's how this level goes. Okay, fantastic. Let's get this item. Some more crescent moon grass. It's good that we have plenty of that. I'm just go in here, pick this up. The pickaxe. Fantastic. So we have a piercing weapon if we uh, need an additional piercing weapon. The first thing we're going to do is come up here. The fat official is over there. I may not be able to hit him from here correctly, so we're going to go this way. We're going to bank up here and go to the left and up onto the roof. Ooh. He knew we were there. And we're just going to come up here and make sure there's no guys we need to clear out. We 
which there is not. And we can play a, a more a safer game of fighting with this fat official on here. Come on, fella. I had the wrong spell equipped. Ow. Ow. Probably should have just used this this post before, to be fair, to cheese it. Right, got him. We c the reason I do him there and don't walk over this wooden bridge is will become evident very, very quickly. I still hear all the miners. Don't know where they all are. Doesn't really matter because we have to drop down there anyway. So we actually have to go across there. Here we go. Ow. Or fall down here. I was, I was going to say to you guys, I will show you the reason I don't go down there. Um, I guess I'm just going to go back up and round now and show you uh, where I fucked up. Because that, uh, that was stupid. Okay. So when you come here, you go up one level. So you can get to the uh, fat official, fat minister. And you stay on this beam, on this side. Because the other side will fall in completely. Oh, sorry. The fat, they're called fat officials, then. Because of the officials' club. Once you're done with that, you can, uh, you can make your way back. And by all means, uh, fall down. And fall down again. Deal with these guys. Did not mean to use that spell. Or oh, the water veil, but it doesn't matter. I've got plenty of fresh spice. As you can see, this run is nowhere near as uh, nice and clean as my uh, run of to the Tower Knight. But, but to be fair, I I like Stone Fang. Uh, probably should have put that water veil on before fighting Fat Minister. Now that I think about it, sorry, Fat Official. Um, yeah, I actually quite like it as a level. The level design is very clever, very cool. Um, but I'm not that great at this, as you can tell. Okay, let's grab this. What is this? Oh, another sharpening stone. Okay, fantastic. Let's just deal with these guys. Like so. Fantastic. And we go over here, and there is a lever. Okay, beautiful. And we got a hardstone shot two. So one large hardstone shard and two normal hardstone shards, and I think that was a sharpstone shard as well. My memory is bad. I tend not to read things uh, too in depth, and uh, that causes me trouble. Uh, and bearing in mind, I just said that. Oh, there's some guys down here, unless they uh, spawned. Yeah, bearing that in mind, guys, I haven't actually been reading you out item descriptions like the Blue Eye Night Caress from the last video. Um, I really, really will get back to doing that because, of course, the law. And the law, since it is so scarce in any Souls game, is important in every Souls game. It really is. Understanding why these things are here and... and that sort of thing. Okay, so we go back up here and uh, we can carry on. The door is now open. And we can traverse the white fog.
Okay, there's a couple of things here. Fire lizard. Oh, that killed it in one. They're dangerous. They actually hit quite hard. If they get a chance to hit. We picked up a meltstone shard. Can't remember exactly what each and every shard type does, but uh, I'll get to it. Oh, and this guy, he's actually been alerted to our presence. Well, you have to die now. As you can see, we can see that there's another guy up there, but we don't go up that way. Not yet. Not yet. There's a long way around. We have to go, guys. Let's grab this. Half moon grass. Lovely, lovely. Go through here, and as you can see, we've got a pup party of people waiting for us over there very eager to encounter Exus sorry not Exus, that's me encounter Deleron oh yes first things first we'll come in here we'll deal with these guys can't actually hit this guy I don't think oh yes we can, prove myself wrong That's beautiful. Take care of all those guys. They don't seem much of a threat, but uh, they can be. They really can be. Okay. And I don't know whether you guys can hear that, but if you can, you'll be hearing a dog. There are some doggos about. Dogs being also dangerous because of how rapid they are, of course. I always take care around those. should be able to hear them now they are on they're up there I believe but we'll take care of these guys first luckily soul arrow is very much a piercing magical attack so oh oh didn't see you trying to get through there fella have one of those for your trouble Okay, we've got a few guys here. Again, just clear everything on your way. It's not worth getting into trouble with any of them. Okay, so before we go back, and as I didn't mention, through that fog door over there, we're going this way first. This is a few bits. There's an item over here, and as you can see, we are up here now. Again. Still amazing to look at. Still absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, we'll grab this item. The Unknown Hero Soul. I should probably mention as well, since I'm playing this, that uh, my internet's being janky today, so we're actually playing this offline, so I cannot actually be invaded, as far as I know, unless the, uh, the router stops playing up and uh, the PlayStation Auto connects. So, uh, not that I believe you really get invaded around here, but uh, it's it's off the table. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot this is actually going to be hard because you have to step before it falls down. Too far. Okay, so this is that shortcut I was telling you about. Opens up. There's the, uh, the beggar, the filthy man over there. And this takes us down further, and we can talk to our, our good old friend, uh, Ed, over here. Ed, the blacksmith. Hello, Ed. Uh, I haven't seen you around these parts. Ah, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. Okay, good to know. And I didn't realise, uh, I obviously realised that Ed and Baldwin have some sort of connection, but I do like the fact that they've got those uh, legendary gauntlets, I forget what they're called, uh, the fist weapons. Each one's got one. Um, but also on top of that, if you look closely, you can see that my character has blood in his hair. That's interesting considering I don't think I've cut anyone with a melee weapon, but that's uh, it's quite a good attention to detail. I know I know that happens, I just haven't seen it this up this close before, at least I can't remember seeing it. Anyway, let's repair our equipment. Doesn't need much of a repair. Um, can we upgrade anything? Can we upgrade the mail breaker? Uh, we can, and yeah, we also can upgrade it to a quality mail breaker. Uh, 
Mercury Mail Breaker, uh, Fatal Mail Breaker, and we can actually revert it using a Meltstone Shard back to just the Mail Breaker. I don't know what that actually does. I don't know why. There's a there's a anvil symbol on that picture. I, I actually have no idea, guys. I really do. I also don't know what these different ones do. So I'll, uh, I'll be looking into them. I'm not actually going to touch them right now. Uh, oh, God. Yes. That'd be God. Okay, sir. And one thing I did notice about Baldwin, and I noticed about you as well. Um, I think it's Baldwin. It was Godwin. I think it's Baldwin. Um, is you guys are developing scale-like... I don't know, things on your body. Scale, like scales, I guess. Um, that's some insane detail. Okay, before we move on, I just wanted to show you where he is. We can't do anything in terms of crafting legendary weapons uh, right now because we need the Flame Lurker soul for that. We're just going to go out here and pick up the Renowned Warrior soul. Uh, and again, I know I do this all the time, but what a view. I guess no one comes down here and messes with you either, Ed. So that's uh, that's all good. That's all Gucci. There we go. We'll go back up. Uh, there is an item on the way up. I can, I'll see if I can grab it without dying, but I very much doubt it. So I might just leave it for now. I don't know how important it is. Or I could grab it coming back down the other way, actually. I could literally do that rather than actually killing myself. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I know I have to... Uh... There we go. I know I have to do a full rotation of the elevator again, but... It is a clear stone shard. I knew it wouldn't be anything worth killing myself over, but hey. Ooh. Try again. Try again, Exus. And we'll just go through that one more time. Sorry about that, guys. I could have got it on the first the first time round. Hello again, Ed. Just uh, just passing through. Bye. Okay, we'll make our way back up. Okay, and we'll just uh, go through here, and we'll make our way back to that fog, fog door. Okay, here we go, guys. Aha! Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, that's, I knew it was coming, and it still scared me. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess you want to go first. Okay, there's a few of you guys in here, if I remember rightly. Okay, we'll deal with you first, because you're stronger. Nice, fantastic, dealt with. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, it's a very tight area. Quite, uh, you can imagine that's quite hard to swing a melee weapon, weapon around there with any sort of major success, especially a bigger one. Okay. Let's eat some more fresh spice, guys. Right. Okay, so we can go down here. When we go over there, though, we actually get stuck and we have to run all the way back. So I'm going to do that last. We are not following the Crystal Lizard this time. I know I said they're worth dying for, but there's a reason we're not following them. Because this route is uh, not a secret route, but uh, if we come up here, we'll just grab this item first. Just some more Crescent Moon Grasses. And the reason we come up here first is because there's actually guys down there that will throw boulders at us. So take out one of these guys. The others will attempt to uh, to come for us. I wonder if I can get that guy. I can't remember if I can. And I can. Fantastic. They may well come up here. But uh, it, that doesn't matter too much. Because we can now go down here. And we can deal with them.
Ah, unadulterated slaughter. Just what we like. We'll try and get this crystal lizard. I did say try. There we go. Fantastic. So, we'll, we'll grab this guy. We'll grab this guy. So, might be worth actually uh, falling back down there now, because that's nearer the start, and we can make our way back. So, the reason I say falling down is because, I mean, you know this isn't going to hold, right? I'll we'll just grab these things. So, two unknown warrior souls and a great club. So... How we get down from here is uh, not down here. That is not. That is no bueno. But down here, uh, if we can roll onto there, and then we can roll down here. It's a bit of damage, but it's a lot less than uh, than the other way would be. Ah, okay, let's get our magic back up. And we have to make our way back around, but it's not too far around to be fair. Yeah, going over there to get those souls in that great club, that's a one shot. You, uh, you... Uh, you can still hear the dogs and the other, the other fire lizards. Yeah, that's a one shot. You have to do that first time, otherwise you have to come back, uh, restart the level, because the boards won't come back. Uh, as, I, uh, as I encountered in my first playthrough of this game, I was like, oh, walking over here, suspecting everything would be okay, forgetting that it was a Souls game. And, uh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So we can go around this way now. It's all good. It's all fine. And we picked ourselves up the steel shield. Okay. While we're here, we can look at the crushing battle axe. A versatile weapon that provides a normal attack, which is effective against a wide variety of targets following through with one swings and connecting will deal an um, optimal hit, inflicting more damage than normal. We also have the pickaxe. Not intended for combat, but the hard protrusion allows it to function as a thrusting weapon, the signature tool of the Stonefang Mine. And we have the Great Club. Among the larger weapons which knock enemies back, this one is made of wood, making it relatively lightweight and easy to handle. It's made of wood with nasty spiky things sticking out of it. Okay, we also picked up the official's gloves. Uh, fat min- oh no, they are called fat ministers. I was right the first time. Fat ministers who appeared just before demons ran rampant in Boletaria and integrated themselves with King Alant. Oppressed the masses with sly grins. This uniform is said to have been resented by the masses as a hateful reminder of them. Okay, so uh, that is that. I think that is just about everything we've discovered so far. Uh, we've got the gas resistant ring, the cling ring, the providential ring, obviously. Yep, that's about it, guys. So I just wanted to quickly show you them. Because I stopped reading them for some reason in the last, uh, the last video. Probably because I was sort of smashing through a little bit too hard, I think. You probably can get to that from the edge of there. Let's uh, let's give that a, a try. Let's try and see if I can roll off there. If I can't, I'm not too bothered. I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, we can. It's an unknown hero, so fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful things. Okay, I can see something glowing over there on the walkway, but we can't get to that just yet. I mean, we're making our way that way. And here we go to where the dogs and the crystal lizards are. So dog, dogs are actually down the other side. But once, as soon as they aggro, they will come up here. The easiest way. Ah, like that. Ow. So, again, that shit me up, even though I knew it was kind of coming. There is still one more dog. I was clearing out that lizard because I didn't think they'd come up here quite yet. Oh. Yeah, I was clear clearing out the lizards because those guys dropping on you is, is never pleasant. Fantastic, so they're all done with. There is one more dog somewhere. 
I know there is. I know there's three. Unless it fell into some lava on the way up here. It's just possible with the AI in this game. You fucker. Hiding from me? Jesus Christ. For me, this episode has been about all of the heart attacks, even though I know all this stuff is coming. Which is fantastic. You wait till we get to Latria later, guys. Cut. It's gonna be fun. Oh, okay. Uh, make our way down here. There's gonna be some minor guys, but uh, strangely enough, considering this is the the main route, the way you're meant to go, it's a, a little off the beaten path. Or at least it feels that way. But then again, Demon Souls is more linear than Dark Souls. Hey, back up, fella. I know you guys intend to uh, tend to deal with me in your own way. Well, I'm not having it. All of you, back up. Um, yeah, I know these games tend to be quite linear, but they manage to hide enough from you. Or at least uh, Demon Souls itself is more linear than, say, Dark Souls. Oh, loads of loads of shards there. Talk to this guy, an unknown hero. So, talk to him. What do you mean, Exus? He's dead. Yeah, I know what I said. Uh, we're going to turn this. Okay, and that opens up the next way for us, which we can uh, we can get to by going down here, which is where we we shot up and killed uh, those guys before. That all led right back round to there, and uh, we can make our way back to where there was molten lava. I guess I didn't really stare at that too long when I was uh, just going through here showing you guys, because I didn't really show you it was down here, but it is now all hardened, and I think it would take a bit longer than that. But I have no idea how that works, so let's pick up some of the items around here. Ah, there you go. Poison resistance ring. That will come in handy later. Let me make our way up here. And as you can see, blocking our way is another fat minister. I'm not going in there, guys, by the way. I'm going to let him do his thing, because there's going to be a lot of explosions. Okay, we let him, we let him deal with the barrels first, and then we come in and we deal with him. Or he hits us, you know. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Dealt with. Dealt with. And he still managed to hit me once. I can never get the timings of they when they sort of laugh and then they decide not to do one, or then they decide to do one. It's a bit of a bit of a ball lake, actually. Right, examine corpse. And we picked up the official's leggings. Don't know if there's anything else around here. I don't think there is. Okay, we're going to go through the fog wall. Okay, and there's stuff around here, so we're just going to get out of my way. Literally vaporize that car. We've got a stone of ephemeral eyes, which is awesome. Okay, and if we come up here, guys, you might see a familiar sight, because this... Is the end of the beginning of Stone Fang. You may remember this from the gameplay of a trailer released. Or uh, you may remember it from playing Demon Souls yourself on the PlayStation 3. I do not because uh, I never got this far when I had it on the PlayStation 3. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look around this area. Before we go down, there is an item here. A spider stone shard. 
giving you a horrible, horrible, ominous impression of what happens next. Okay, and the Chris Blade, which actually can be quite handy at increasing, uh, increasing magical damage output. We're not going to use it for that. Uh, we're going to stay how we are. And uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to have some fresh spice. And we're going to make our way down. And here we are, guys. And as you remember, again from the trailer or from playing the game yourself, that foggle leads to our next boss. I'm going to go this way quickly. There is something down here. I can't remember what it is. Uh, oh, yeah, it's just a corpse. Kind of feels like a trap, like we're going to get caved in. It is not. It is a spider stone chunk. Now, I have a distinct feeling that I may have missed. In fact, I know I missed the a flame resistant ring you get it in this area we're gonna have to do without um so you're about to see how clumsy i can be at bosses because yeah this is uh this is a bad one for me this one doesn't doesn't do great things for me so i'm just gonna put this on and we're gonna go to the half moon grass and we're gonna go to the soul arrow and we're gonna get in Oh, that managed to get me. So we're gonna have to block this. Ow, I was still I was still in the spider web. Yeah, that web gets me nearly every time now. I'm not as agile as uh, some people are. Yeah, so <laughs> nearly every time I just cannot dodge this. See, even when I dodge, it hits me. Uh, so I, I apologize for my performance, guys. God damn it. The web still hit me. Okay, we're gonna eat our food here. For some reason, those bubbles never come on this side. Don't know why. He says that he gets hit by fireballs on that side. Ow. So yeah, I literally strong on my way through this, guys. Ow. <laughs> now I'm gonna stay in my little corner here. Oh, I'm actually safe here, so we can actually cheese here. This is something I didn't know. Oh, I actually dodged one. How, how amazing is that? That literally never happens. Oh, and another one. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can actually double roll them. And I successfully cheesed my way through the Armored Spider. That is my worst boss. That is my the boss I perform the worst on, guys. I'm so bad. As you saw at that boss, I just... I can't get my head around it. Um... Again, I remember watching the trailer for this game, for the remake, and I've also watched people play Demon's Souls on PS3 since then, as well as play this remake. And some people are amazing at this fight. Like, they just fucking get in, they get underneath his guard, they dodge every fireball, they dodge every sticky web. I am incapable of doing this. I don't know why. I just, uh, I don't know. A pitched battle as a mage doesn't work for me. I need to be able to move around. I need to have a lot of freedom. Um, as you notice as well, he or it didn't get the didn't get the chance to put the oil slick down and then uh, push me back to the end 
of the thing. That probably didn't activate because I probably didn't get anywhere near close enough to him. Like Just like the melee attacks did not activate. So, um, yeah. Sorry for the p abysmal performance, but that that's kind of how I deal with that boss. I just strong arm my way through. Uh, okay. And we go to here, and we pick up the pure spider stone and a hard demon soul. Okay, fantastic. And we're ready to go back to the Nexus. Okay, fantastic. And nothing should have changed in the Nexus. We may go up and have a conversation with the Monumental from time to time. Uh, what we are going to do is go to inventory and just use the other souls. Okay, fantastic. And uh, the hard demon soul we're going to put with Thomas inside uh, inside storage. <laughs> Goodness, you're safe. I was worried sick. Uh, I am safe, sir. I just uh, I just performed terribly on a boss, but uh, I have a lot of uh, a lot of magic power, so I can uh, a magic recovery item. So I just I just got through. We are indebted to you. Uh, okay. For you fight on our behalf. Yes, I've heard you say this before. Okay. First things first. Let's actually make our way over here. And let's see if Freak's apprentice has any decent spells for us. Are you begging for a magic lesson? I mean, uh, cloak and protection are both good. Cloak will definitely take because it's only five hundred protection. Uh, I'll grab a little bit later. Be I'll... Careful how you use it. Okay. Normally, it would not be granted. Ah, uh, you can piss off, sir. I'm a magician. It would exactly be granted to me. Um, yeah, I'll buy that other one when I uh, go and grind out 5,000 souls in my uh, little grinding spot. Okay, let's talk to the Maiden in Black. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. Okay, seek soul power. Okay. So we're only actually going to get two levels out of this. I'll have to grind a few more. We're going to put... Uh, I'm gonna put magic up by two, and then it's uh, and then it's on par with intelligence. We'll keep those two fairly fairly close together. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. I'll also go grind out one additional level for my actual level uh, before the next video. May thy strength help the world be mended. Okay, I certainly hope I can help the world be mended. As long as I don't perform like that ever again. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go grind out to get that other spell and grind a little bit to uh, get that one more level. And uh, then, when we come back in the next video, we're going to be carrying on in the Stone Fang Mines deeper and much darker into them but yes that's it for this episode i hope you guys have enjoyed watching i have very much enjoyed playing as usual i've been your host lord exus and i'll see you guys in the next video in a bit